A piece of astrophysics history was made right here. Scientists in Hanover were the first to get a look at the signal from measurements made in the U.S. that directly showed gravitational waves. It was an absolute sensation. I'm here to meet someone who's been looking for those waves for decades, Institute Director Karsten Dansmann. How did he experience the historic moment? I was here at the Institute, and word got around pretty quickly. We weren't blown away at first because we didn't believe it. It took a long time for it to sink in. Dansmann uses this apple to explain how gravitational waves work. Einstein predicted their existence a century ago in his theory of general relativity. Let's conduct a practical experiment. The surface of this pond is a two-dimensional space. Now I'm going to create a gravitational wave. See how the circular wave moves out from the point of impact? It's the same with gravitational waves. The apple made an indentation in the surface and that forced the ripples to spread out. It's the same in space. The indentation in space spreads out. Sounds simple. It is simple. <laughs> this is where the equipment for measuring gravitational waves is developed and tested. The researchers in the U.S. who first measured the waves used detectors, just like this one, only bigger. Why did it take so long to confirm the existence of gravitational waves? The basic idea is simple. You detect gravitational waves by measuring distortions in space. We do that by measuring the lengths involved, but very, very precisely because the magnitude of the distortion is very small. The laser measuring technology we use has only become available in the past few years. This container houses the core of the detector. The device shines a laser beam into each of two long tubes at right angles to each other. The beams reach the end, are reflected back, and then allowed to interfere. The light beams ought to cancel each other out. But if there's some flickering, it could indicate the passage of a gravitational wave. This is what a readout of the gravitational wave looked like, the first one to be observed. It doesn't look like much to non-experts, but for Karsten Dansmann, it's a beautiful proof of the phenomenon that was predicted by Einstein. You can even hear the waves as an audio signal. This is what the patterns of lines and chirps reveal to the experts. Around 1.3 billion light years away from the Earth, two black holes were orbiting each other at a speed of 200,000 kilometers per second. The black holes eventually merged, releasing energy greater than that of the entire visible universe. Noch verblüffender ist es, the astonishing thing is that this event, the most powerful we've ever been able to measure, took place in complete darkness. Teams of researchers went all out trying to detect traces of radiation from it. They looked in the visual range, radio waves, X-rays, gamma rays, and microwaves, but they found nothing. In other words, no telescope could see the collision of the black holes. But gravitational waves revealed it, and one day they may tell us even more about the structure of the universe. More than 99 percent of the universe is pitch black, say the physicists. So researchers are building even more sensitive detectors to probe these vast dark spaces. One new project being developed involves three satellites that would transmit laser beams to each other over millions of kilometers in space and precisely monitor the interference between them. Dansman says this giant setup would help us to detect gravitational waves more easily, perhaps even those generated by the Big Bang that created our current universe. That has researchers very excited. It may tell us about the origins of the universe. Human beings seem programmed to search for that. It's like the way a lot of people enjoy researching their family tree. 
They want to know where they came from, how they got here. What we're doing is like researching your family tree on a cosmic scale, back to the Big Bang. The scientists have a long way to go before they get to that point. But they keep working on it. The powerful new space-based detector under development might possibly be ready for use by the year 2028.